is there's two babies, two different wombs, two mothers, and they they meet they both both babies, John and Jesus, both like recognize the presence of each other and there's like this this intuitive interaction physical but at the same time like is is completely impossible when you try and think about it logically um, and so the whole thing is just kind of wrapped wrapped in this really interesting mystery of these of these two kids that are already really connected with the things that are much larger and outside themselves even while they're still literally in their mother's wombs and so the the piece was really striking to me conceptually at first because I already have a really strong connection to to rivers specifically the river that's that's not so far from from the studio and from where I live the part that it does include in there is like then the connection of John the Baptist to the river and then baptizing Jesus in that in that space so that's like the tie with the river You know, I make things that are really, really personal to me. Like, I, I kind of react with this, this idea in art making that the things that are the most personal are going to be the most connective and universal. So instead of, instead of trying to cater to what I think somebody wants to see, like, I make something that's really important, as if I have, like, you know, like this bell that I, like, ring in my chest, and then if, if you have, like, the same... E, then you're gonna connect with it. So like the the more true I can make that piece to like the key of of the things that are important to me, like you have a better chance of connecting with it because it's like it's more in tune. And you might, you know, I might be in C and somebody else might be in D, somebody else is in A and it you know, you don't connect with that, but you know, the authors and the artists and the musicians that I really gravitate towards and love made something that was really personal to them, and then I find the meaning within that of how my life connects to it, and some of that is, is really specific, some of it's open-ended, and just kind of like this sort of misty cloud that I feel like I get to jump into and explore. You know, I try and treat it as if the thing is alive um, and has a story that predated me. Like, I get to interact with it for this moment in the studio, and it eventually, you know, it goes and it lives somewhere else. And then, again, it turns into the leaf at the base of the tree. Eventually, it'll turn into something else.